Helum, Robotic Eel. Working on equipment deep under the ocean is not only difficult, but it's also extremely dangerous. This is why Equinor have developed a robotic eel called Elum. They've taken their inspiration from the shape of an eel and developed a self-propelled robotic arm. These robots can be used for inspection, maintenance and repair of subsea equipment. As you can imagine, their flexible slender body shape allows them to work in confined spaces that would be impossible for conventional underwater vehicles to access. What's interesting is that the robot is completely modular, so the client can adapt its use for a wide range of subsea applications. These vehicles are engineered to live permanently underwater, which means they are ready to be deployed 24-7 without the need of a surface vessel. This means a safer, more efficient solution to maintaining your equipment. Bionic Flying Fox Moving away from the depths of the ocean, to the skies above, here's an incredible robot that resembles a flying fox. The inventors of this robot took inspiration from the special flight characteristics of a flying fox. A flying fox is part of the order of bats, and has an elastic membrane attached between its hand and ankle, that enable it to fly. This artificial flying fox also has an elastic membrane that is ultra-thin and extremely lightweight, and it stretches between its hands and ankles. As a result the wing area is comparatively large, and the robot is able to fold its wings in the same way a natural flying fox can. The bionic flying fox uses a tracking system to enable it to fly semi-autonomously in a defined area. The desired flight path can be pre-programmed into the computer. Then, using cameras, a central computer evaluates the data and determines the best flight path and the necessary arm movements. What's really impressive is that the program is constantly learning and improving the flight path as it flies. If you're enjoying this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a like and subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss future videos. If you're on a mobile device, click the more videos button in the bottom right. Then click the subscribe button. Thanks, we really appreciate it. Plurobot Plurobot is a robotic salamander developed by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. What's interesting about the salamander is its ability to both swim in water and walk on land. The developers of this robot took high-speed footage of a real salamander walking and used that footage to create this robot version, which is roughly nine times the size of a real one. As you can see the robot's spine is designed to bend and mimic the way a real salamander walks. In its current version, the robot uses balls for feet. But in future versions, the designers aim to introduce as many aspects of the foot as possible. Take a look at this menacing looking robot. If you're after a giant spider-like robot to scare away your neighbors, then look no further than the MX Phoenix Hexapod. Although it looks metallic, the parts of this robot are 3D printed from ABS. This has kept the overall weight down to under 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. With each leg able to move independently, this robot can move easily over rough terrain. The camera mounted above the robot gives a great onboard view of the robot's movements. Here's another spider-like robot from the company Festo. It's called the Bionic Wheelbot. The inspiration for this robot came from the cartwheeling spider that propels itself along the ground by rolling. To mimic this behavior, the wheelbot moves six of its legs into the shape of a wheel. It then uses the remaining two legs to push itself forward. 
Like its natural role model, the artificial spider moves faster when rolling than walking. Robot Rat Skuro I'm pretty sure the Pied Piper would have a hard time getting this rat to follow him. But the point of creating this robotic rat was to make a robot that could enter into small spaces whilst carrying a small payload. Although the robotic rat only weighs 2 grams, it's capable of carrying an impressive 91% of its body weight. The robot is designed to have the agility and flexibility of a rat, giving it the ability to crouch, walk, crawl and turn in tight spaces. The designers believe this robot should be able to perform tasks, such as detection or transportation in relevant scenarios. Titanoboa The Titanoboa is a prehistoric snake believed to be the largest snake on Earth. With this in mind, a team of scientists and engineers from Canada decided to create an extremely large robotic snake. It took them five years to construct the robot, and the result is a 50-foot-long, robotic snake. Their work was so impressive that they've ended up with the Guinness World Record for the world's largest robotic snake. Normally you'd expect Kawasaki to make motorbikes. But Kawasaki have a robotics division that supplies industrial robots around the world. One of their experimental projects is this robotic goat. It's modeled after a species of goat called an ibex, hence its name. Bex can carry up to 220 pounds. And the top half of the robot is completely modular, so it doesn't have to look like a goat. Mind you, who wouldn't want it to look like a goat? As you can see from the video, Bex features a set of wheels on its knees, which enables it to move faster on smooth surfaces. Bionic Kangaroo This robot looks and moves like a real kangaroo. Real kangaroos recover energy from one jump to help them make the next. With this in mind the designers used elastic springs to partially charge the legs on landing. The robotic animal weighs 7 kilograms and stands 1 meter tall. Impressively, it's able to jump almost half a meter into the air and a distance of 0.8 meters forwards.